car. Pesos 1 hunting up in North Texas. Spied this hog from the road. It is there on the other side of a creek through the trees. Now I've been here several times in the past, quite recently. The trees are wonderful because they provide a visual block for the hog and a wind block. And since the moon is bright, the visual block is terrific. But they pose a problem in that you can easily lose the hog on the other side of the trees. They're quite thick in some places. And you have to look for openings or gaps in the trees in order to spy the hogs and in order to shoot the hogs which I intend to do with my Lone Star Armory TX-15 Multipurpose Carving Enhanced, through which I'll be shooting some Druid Hill Armory Loaded or a DSST-123 Green Bullets. And at this point, the hog, I'm just getting bits and pieces of it. And obviously, I don't have a shot through all the vines and trees right there. I do have a nice clearing off to the left, right there, which I would like to see the hog. And I don't know where it's gone. I'm thinking it's moving to the left. I can pick up my sticks and move off to the right to see if I get a better view of it through another clearing, but I catch a glimpse of it right there. And it is indeed moving to the left, and I'm going to wait right here and ambush it when it comes into the clearing. Holy cow. Well, that certainly did not go as intended, and the reason why? We'll be discussing Carpe Analysis, the Trauma Diaries number 41. There's a link at the end of the video. Fortunately, the hog was down, spied it just a few minutes later. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. And he turned out to be a 175 pound boar. A short while later the next morning, I've got a group of hogs behind this barn. I'd actually spied them from the west side of the barn. I'm now on the east side of the barn. The barn has provided a nice wind block so that the hogs did not smell me coming but there is a bright moon and there are security lights in the barnyard and I'm hiding in the shadows I'm trying to creep around the edge of the barn to get a good shot at the hogs and I realize they're behind a fence there's a gate right there and I don't know if it's a wire gate with just barbed wire through it and I'm not seeing it with my thermal scope because the wires at the same temperature as the rest of the environment or if maybe the gate is open. So I get out my handheld, I scan it with my handheld, and I finally determined that there are no wires here. I'm not shooting through any sort of fencing. So I slowly make my way, stepping out from behind the barn, hoping the hogs won't take notice of me. And I'm gonna shoot through the open gate when the sow does definitely see me, but I'm not moving. She doesn't alert to me as being a threat. The other sow is behind the fence again. And I'm debating moving further out into the open or standing still and I decide that I'm going to go ahead and take the one good shot I have right here. And see if I can pick up the other hogs and that doesn't happen from this position. So I pick up the sticks and try to move further out into the open to get a better shot through the gate. And I see I haven't moved quite far enough and the hogs are disappearing off onto the neighbor's property down in the low area. And I came away with a 125 pound sow that was pregnant with three on board.
Carpe sus, my friends.